Welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're going to be showing you how to calculate how much chlorine you need to superchlorinate a well. Okay, so for the first thing that we're going to do before we get into figuring out how much chlorine you need is just, I've set up a few, I guess we'll call them keys over here. Um, so well casing diameter and gallons per foot. So you'll need that to calculate the volume of water in your well. So of course you're going to need to know how deep it is um, as well as where your static water level is. So you can figure out how many gallons you've got in the well. Uh, if you're super chlorinating a reservoir, then you just need to know how many gallons the reservoir is. Um, so a super shock or a, a super chlorination or a well shock, I've heard it called all kinds of different names, um, is typically 50 parts per million or more. So it's quite a high concentration. And just to put that into perspective, most um, treatment like chlorination in the main city water line, the concentration is usually at or below five, uh, a half a part per million, um, which is kind of the tolerable drinking level. The higher the concentration, the chlorine, so 100 parts per million versus 50 parts per million, for example, you're gonna have a dramatically shorter retention time. So we actually half the amount of chlorine, but the, uh, the length of time increases fourfold essentially so we go from two to eight um, so you can decide based on your schedule how much time you have and you might be able to use a little bit less chlorine get longer retention times and so forth so you've got like two main sources of chlorine you can either buy kind of like commercial grade chlorine like what we sell here uh, and no we don't ship it unfortunately uh, but we do have these which are well safe sanitizer kits uh, these make the process really easy it's just a matter of measuring out how much of this material to put in your well for a super chlorination but if you're going the liquid route which again is what we're focused on today uh, you can use the 12 and a half percent or sometimes 10 percent it's usually in between um, or you can use like the store-bought like Clorox brand bleach and so forth those are usually between four and six percent so you're gonna have to figure out how many gallons you're gonna be able to treat with one gallon of chlorine whatever your concentration is and there's a really easy formula to calculate this out and then you can kind of take it from there. Okay, so in order to figure out exactly how much chlorine to add to your well or cistern, first we've got to figure out how much water you do have. So that's actually relatively simple and it just depends on either A, if you've got a cistern, hopefully you know the capacity, um, but B, if you've got a well, you just need to know what the well casing diameter is. But keep in mind, the well casing diameter oftentimes changes from eight inch or six inch to a smaller four inch. Um, so having your well report is gonna be handy, but this doesn't have to necessarily be exact, so keep that in mind. There, you can get pretty loose with the concentration, let it set just a little bit longer, kind of for extra assurance. Um, so anyways, let's just jump right into calculating it just so you get an example. So let's just say we've got a well here um, and it's 200 feet deep. So 200 foot depth, we have 50 foot of static, which static is the distance from the top of the well until we hit water, which we'll say that's right here. So we know we've got 200 minus 50, we've got 150 feet of water okay so don't mind the bad handwriting so we're just going to say that for the sake of easy math this is a four inch casing so a four inch casing holds 0.65 gallons per foot so we just simply take 0.65 multiply that by 150 and then we're gonna know exactly how many gallons we've got in the well. Uh, because we wanna factor the entire depth of the well, not just the pump depth. So we're doing the whole thing. As we can see in the, the chart that we've shown that it's actually 65 gallons per 100 feet or 0.65 gallons per foot. Uh, so loosely, we can just say that this is 100, feet, 100 gallons. Um, 
is what we're gonna just kind of round up to, and that's to be safe. So that's how you calculate the uh, volume of water in your well so that you can take it to the next step with the simple formula to calculate how much chlorine to use to accomplish the super chlorination. So let's get to that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this formula. And surprisingly, it this formula is not something that we were able to easily find in a textbook or somewhere along those lines. So this is actually our second take of this video where we had a little bit more complicated formula. Um, and in editing, we realized, wow, we can make this a lot simpler. So long story, um, but now we got the short formula and it's awesome. So um, credit to Jeremy for, for cracking the code. What we've got is gallons of chlorine required equals the total gallons of water, which we calculated that. Our example, we had 100 gallons over um, 100 times the percent of your chlorine concentration. So you buy a bottle of Clorox or uh, you're using pool chlorine or what have you, the percentage is gonna be listed on it. And it's really important with this percentage that you don't actually convert it to a decimal, you use it at face value. So for example, if you have 4% chlorine, you would use a four here, not like a 0 .04. Um, so just remember that with this formula, that is the one kind of funky thing. But other than that, it works great. Uh, and then we multiply that by 100 over the parts per million concentration that we're trying to achieve. So generally with super chlorination or shocking your well, you're looking for between 50 to 100 or more parts per million. And then you're gonna be able to relate that to the contact time uh, and figure out you know, if you've got eight hours to let it set or you've got a whole day. You know, Obviously most people need their water system and can't be down forever. So kind of a high concentration for a shorter period of time is often the better approach. There's other steps involved in this process that can kind of drag it out as well as far as getting the chlorine out of the water, dumping water on the ground and so forth. Um, so anyways, while I'm on that subject, I just want to throw out one big disclaimer. Don't ever pump this water into your septic system. Pump it on the ground when you're done circulating and everything through the well. Of course, this isn't a video on how to do the chlorination. It's just to calculate how much. We're going to do that video later. Um, so if you have questions, give us a call. Anyways, back to the formula after that rant uh, of sorts. Um, so we've got total gallons of water. We're going to put 100 up here. That's how many gallons of water we're trying to, tr to treat. Um, and then we need to do our percentage. We're just going to use off the shelf store-bought bleach that is 5%. So just remember 5% is 5 in this particular spot. Now I mentioned the 100 parts per million is usually what you want to shoot for for a lower retention time as well as a higher effectiveness just because of the concentration. So we're going to do 100 here. So let's go ahead and just boil this down here. Um, so we got 500 times one. And so basically we've got 100 over 500, which of course we can reduce down to one fifth of a gallon of 5% store-bought bleach to go ahead and super chlorinate at 100 parts per million. So a really shorthand way of calculating that and um, Hopefully this helps you to determine exactly how much chlorine to put in. Um, oh, and one other thing I wanted to highlight, I don't know if it's actually gonna show in the graphics, uh, a treatment level of chlorine is generally about a half a part per million. That's like what you can taste when you get water out of the tap in the city or something. It's kind of, you know it's there, but it's not extremely strong. Um, and a, a human can go up to about four parts per million before they start to possibly feel sick and so forth. So keep all that in mind. This concentration we're dealing with here um, is really strong and you don't want to drink it. It's probably going to burn your eyes. It'll turn your hair green if you've got blonde hair. Um, so make sure you discharge it properly. Um, so enough said on that. If you have any questions, don't forget to uh, Hit us up on the comments or shoot us a message, give us a call. Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. We will catch you next time.